Nathan Judorham here as ever by Mr. Warsaw is Mr. Joe Massey. Joe nil nil against Blackpool at the weekend. You know, disappointing was it? Or would you say it's a little bit disappointing or do you think the point was a fair result? A little bit disappointing, I suppose you have to say. It was a home game at the end of the day. Warsaw have been sensational, haven't they, this mm. season? So Blackpool at home, I mean, you've got to give Blackpool credit first and foremost. They are six games unbeaten now under the caretaker manager Terry McPhillips, I think his name is. He looks like he's going to be appointed this week on a permanent basis. So Blackpool players an awful lot to play for. They've done very well under him. I mean, this wasn't a thriller. No. Um, it's fair Not to say. Thriller in Manila. Um, I think Dean Keats is a type of man who never makes excuses. So it was kind of put to him at the end. Were the players a little bit tired? Mm. He batted that away straight away. But I do think they were a little bit tired. It was, it was their eighth game in 31 days. Um, and that speed of thought, that speed of play, really, that Saddlers fans have been used to this yeah. season, it just wasn't quite there. I mean, the first shot of the game on target was in the 40th minute. That kind of tells you everything you need to know. Jay Spear in 25 yards. Mm. Oh, the, Jay Spear. Jay Spear yeah. went on a the whack Liverpool. at Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. it was a big whack. Um, claimed by Liam Still got Roberts. baby face, has he? He's still, yeah, but yeah. he's a little terrier, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he'll, he'll, he'll go through you, won't he? He will go through you, yeah. I mean, before that, um, Blackpool did have one off the line, but I mean, Walsall always have players on the line. Mm. George Dobson got that away pretty comfortably, to be fair. Wasn't a lot in the game. Chances were really at a premium for both sides. Walsall had one right at the end. Kane Wilson headed wide from a corner. Mm -hmm. um, Blackpool, their best chance, Mark Cullen spun in the box and fired over from six yards. He probably should have scored, really. So when you take that into consideration, a draw maybe. But a draw was a fair result on the balance of play. But You're not going to get classics every week, though, are you? And look, they're still unbeaten. I mean, the Invincibles of League One. It's going to continue. You love that, don't you? Yeah, so have you used that before? Yeah, you haven't used it before. I don't think I have. I think you're rolling it out all the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Uh, but we're going very well. Well, yeah, the bottom line is going very well. Things are League One is a, a fifth in League One. As I'll be rolling stands. on the podcast as well on Thursday. Yeah, that's going to be good, isn't mm. it? Um, so yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the best game of football. Sellers were a little bit off the pace. I think Dean Keats said they didn't do enough to win the football sure. match. I think that sums it up pretty perfectly. Um, but it's one game, and they do get this marginal break now. I think because this Checker Trade Trophy game against Burton mm. is their only midweek game in September. So. I think with the intensity they play at, it'll be really good for Walsall to play Saturday, Saturday. Right, OK, well, you said that this is, of course, it is the road to Wembley on Tuesday, the, the Checker Trade nice Trophy. Wembley, yeah, nice. So you want to be there. Don't, don't be there at Wembley. Be there, what you said, I was there at Burton Albion on a cold get Tuesday night. Journey, well, yeah, a mild Tuesday journey, night. Yeah. Um, so you said they, they were a little bit tired. I mean, Deakins, of course, the league is the priority. Maybe look to rest people. Who can you rest? Who can't you rest? How many changes are we expecting? Wow, what we situation? Have got a list of rules. We've got a list of rules and regulations. Now, Check this, trade rules and regulations. This is my understanding, and we could be wrong. I'm not going to lie, don't, we could be wrong. Don't say we. Don't, don't give out the rules. I and could so, be wrong. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay but Hit it me. is complicated. Okay. I think Dean Keys has hinted he will. Well, he said he will make changes, actually. Mm -hmm. He will make changes for this game. The initial rule is you're allowed to change your keeper. Okay. That's, that's, that's a given. A given, 100%. That's a given. Yeah. So I think Chris Dunn will come in for Liam mm -hmm. Roberts. Then you're allowed to make four outfield changes. You're allowed to make four. From what? From the team that played on Saturday. Okay. Um, right, this is where it gets complicated. This is where it gets really stick complicated. Stick with us, stick with us. ExpressSL.com. So you're allowed four changes from the team that started last game or starts the game on Saturday, if that makes sense. So if a player didn't play on Saturday, yeah. you can bring him in on Tuesday so long as he plays on the following Saturday. That doesn't count as a change. But What about if he gets injured? It's a mess. Forget what I just said. Forget all that because I don't think it matters for Walsall. Okay, because okay. There is let's, one, let's simplify. one rule. To rule them all. 7.4.5. This is where it gets really interesting. Rule 7.4.5. This is the research that goes into these videos. It's this incredible. Is like a little loophole. Yeah. Mr. Loophole, Joe Massey. Players can you get me off a driving ban? No. Oh. <laughs> you need that. I don't need it, by the way. <laughs> um, players can play, be selected, if they are on loan from a Premier League club or a Championship club who have got a Category 1 academy, right? Now, this makes it very, very interesting for Walsall okay. because... I've just done my little team here. I like a team. Connor Johnson, Connor Ronan... Oh, yeah. Connor Ronan and Kane Wilson yes. are on loan from Category 1 Academies. Oh, I like this. Right. I, so like, I like where you're going. I think, well, I could be wrong, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think those three players can play right. without affecting Walsall's changes. Uh, okay? Get you, okay. So. I like this. We've got a team here. Get off. Shall I just read out the team? Well, I mean, Dean Keats won't be happy with you, but yeah, go, go for it. Chris Dunning-Gall, we've said that, haven't we? Number one. Uh, 
Kane Wilson, mm -hmm. Jack Fitzwater, Connor Johnson, Callum Cockrell Mollett. Mm -hmm. Now, in that back, that is a completely different back five from the Saturday, Saturday. Okay. but I think that counts as one change. Cockrell Mollett for Leahy. Right. Okay? Okay. So sticking with a 4 4 2, we've got Kieran Morris, who's played anyway, no change. Kinsella comes in, Connor Ronan comes in, and Maz Kuyar comes in. That's only two changes. Who's, who's the change there then? So we've got Kinsella for Dobson and Kuyar for Ismail. Ronan plays because he's on loan from Elite from a Category 1 okay. academy. Morris plays because he's already played at the weekend. Got you. And, Kuy and Kuyar comes in. But he could Kuyar start. Kuyar comes in as a change. He could start on Saturday as well, though, can he mask? Or not? No, he? it'll be Ismail or Ginelli probably. Okay. Ginelli missed out on Saturday but only just for injury. Okay. Um, but he will definitely be in contention for Saturday. I don't know if they'll risk him tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So I think Kuyar will come in. Mm -hmm. And then up front, yeah. Ferrier and Gordon. It's an interesting one with Ferrier because they might want to rest him. But if they go Ferrier and no, Gordon... No, I want to be there. I want to see Ferrier. I love you really love Ferrier, uh, don't you? That would be their fourth change. So this is eight changes from Saturday. Right. But I think Lee, technically... In Good for Josh Gordon to come in. Looking forward to seeing him. There's only four, yeah. Yeah, it'd be great for Josh yeah. Gordon. He'll definitely, I think Josh Gordon will definitely start. Well, he's at 100%. He's 100% there. They've been done 100%. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can look at these rules on the EFL website. So you say four, that's four changes... Four and how change. many are to make? You're to make four. No, there's eight changes from Saturday. Yeah, here. but four. But f I, you're allowed to make four. Okay. And I think Cockrell Mollett, Liam Kinsella, Maz Kuyar, and Josh Gordon become the four. Got yeah. But I think you can get around it with Wilson, Johnson, Ronan. Confusing. Dot com. Yeah. But I know, but I, I know where you're going with it. I want you to defend me. <laughs> I want you to defend me in court. You're superb. I like That's it. Not how but yeah, I think that's I think that's right anyway. I think that's right. I could be completely wrong. Yeah. But that's I mean that's what it says. Okay. That's what the rules say. Yeah. So I think we're all right. So I think Keats will make changes. He said he will make changes. I think it will actually be wholesale changes. Mm. If the rules allow it, wholesale changes. If not, it will be similar. But I think he will make changes. And, and what's the crack? Ninety minutes and uh, it's a league system, so just a draws and, and wins and, and losses. Ninety minutes and then penalties. Straight to penalties. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Point for a draw. And yeah. you get another point if you win the penalty shootout. Uh, so you can come away with two points. Rather than three. Rather, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a mess. And a point if you lose a penalty shootout. Yeah, a point if you lose a penalty shootout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, don't know why, I don't know why this competition gets stick. No, no, uh, yeah. I have to, It's yeah. so clear. Yeah, it's so Just, clear. So clear. It's a shambles, isn't it? I'll tell you what is clear. Me and you will be at the game tomorrow we night. We will be, yeah. Bert and Albion against Warsaw. Make sure you stick with us for all the latest news for the Super Saddlers at expressandstar.com.